What's up y'all? Today we are going to give you a tour of our 2019 Ford F450 Lariat Edition. What's up guys? What's up? Well, I know that this is not the tour of the truck that you all have been patiently waiting for, <laughs> but we're patiently waiting for that too. Yeah. But in the meantime, some of y'all did want to see a tour of our new F450 that we got. Oh gosh, what, back in June? Yep. We had a 450 King Ranch 2016 that we traded in for the 2019 model. So we're gonna take you around, show you some of the features that it, that it has, some of the stuff that we really like a lot better on this truck versus our last truck. What made it worth us trading in the old truck to get a newer truck, yeah. yeah. And why we stuck with the 450, because I know a lot of people are thinking that's overkill just to tow an Airstream, yeah. but we'll tell you our reasoning on that as well. All right. So let's take a look. One of the biggest things that we really love about this truck is the color. This is the color we wanted to get to go with the Airstream. It has this, the two-tone silver and gray which we really thought would be sharp with the Airstream. The black one we had before, it was nice, but it was so dirty all of the time. It was hard to keep clean. It was really hard to keep clean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this one is a lot easier. <laughs> it doesn't show dirt as, as much. One of my favorite features is the running boards. It has automatic running boards. So when you open the door, they come down. Boom. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. I think it gives it a cleaner look when it's closed up. It go does. ahead and close it and up. And then when you close it, they go back up. It, and there we go. Pretty cool. Yeah, it gives it a much cleaner look. Yeah. This, if you see, it's a 6.7 liter Power Stroke Turbo Diesel. It is diesel. It's a dually. One of the biggest things about this, and again, yes, it may be overkill to tow an Airstream. Our Airstream fully maxed out, loaded, water tanks full and everything is 10,000 pounds, which is nothing for this truck. Our very first truck was an F-150 and we had a travel trailer for that. It was a much longer travel trailer, probably about the same weight capacity. It towed it, but it was struggled. It was not a comfortable ride. It took forever to get up to highway speeds and all that. So we had traded in the F-150 for an F-250. Well, shortly after that, we got a fifth wheel. <laughs> and while the 250 could handle the fifth wheel just fine, it wasn't a good ride again. So then we had traded up for the F450. And we've been absolutely happy with the F450. One of the greatest things about having the 450 is we don't have to have the sway control arms that a lot of people get when towing a travel trailer. What those do is it keeps your travel trailer in line with the truck. If it's windy, it keeps it from swaying a lot. But with this truck, we don't have to worry about it. You don't even feel it back here and we can tow anything we want not just the airstream if there's something we need to tow somebody needs help they got a big trailer you know we can tow pretty much anything with this truck so that's why we love it yeah. so let's take a look at some of the other stuff one cool thing that this truck has that our other one didn't is it's all keyless entry we have a remote start on the remote that we can start the truck remotely it also has this cool feature for the tailgate I just push the remote and it opens for me yeah pretty nice so if your hands are full you can't get to the tailgate you can open it another cool thing with this tailgate our other one had this too but it's an actually you can pull this out and it's a step to help you get up into the tailgate. I mean, as, as you see, this truck, it sits up pretty high. It does sit higher than our other truck did too. It also has this little arm that you can put up. So if you're wanting to get up in the truck, you can just step up, boom, there you go. <laughs> Another cool thing that this truck has is it came with the bed liner already in the truck. It also does have this setup for if you wanna put a fifth wheel hitch back here, it's already set up for that. This truck has these lights on each side. They're all LED lights that will light up the bed for you at night. Our other truck didn't have that. We also have a automatic little window in the back. Our other truck had that, but this one's a little bit more seamless than what the other one had. Yeah. 
Another cool thing that Heather forgot to mention was when you push lock on the key fob, it also locks your tailgate. These are a high theft item. People like to steal tailgates off of trucks. So um, before we used to always have to lock it with the key to make sure we didn't get it stolen. Another thing this truck has that the other trucks didn't is it has little cameras. Little camera right here. Another little camera right there on uh, in between the red light. Now those two are for when you're backing up to a hitch. If you got a fifth wheel hitch or your bumper hitch, you're able to see it kind of line up a lot better and that's made it really easy for us uh, hooking up the Airstream. We have another camera right here. Another one on the very front and then another one right here on the mirror and that gives us a 360 view when we're backing up and driving around stuff and it works when we're driving forward or backing up so that's one really cool feature i like about it it makes it makes it cool when you're backing up into a parking spot when you're backing this big beast up into a parking spot at a restaurant or at walmart or wherever you go shopping um it's it's a tight squeeze <laughs> so we've done a few little upgrades to the truck uh, first one being uh, the bug deflector I think this uh, black look on the the front just gives it a real clean look plus it's gonna protect it from uh, any rock chips or stuff like that another one we did was we swapped out the antenna this one was from a company called built right you take the long flimsy bouncy around antenna off and stick this one in it works really good just as good as the really long one did heather had me install the mud flaps today i think those look so ugly but <laughs> i guess it's gonna stop all of this from happening or at least slow it down from getting too much dirt on there one other upgrade that we do plan on doing is we're gonna take the clearance lights how they're orange now we're gonna switch those out they sell some aftermarket smoke colored ones so we're gonna order those probably the next time we're home and Jason's gonna swap those out. We also put our Centromatics on this truck. I don't know if you can, you can't really see them, but they're in there. Those are what help keep your wheels balanced. We took them off the other truck and put them on this truck. They fit fine. So that's pretty much it on the outside. We are gonna go take a look and see what's new on the inside. All right, so we're gonna start in the back and sorry, it is a little dirty. We got some dog hair and stuff. We need a vacuum. I just hadn't got to that yet. <laughs> but this is the back. One of the really great features of the 2019 F450 that our 2016 lacked is they actually made the cab and back bigger to match kind of like what the 150 and 250 is now the last 450 we had there was not as much room in the in the cab part of the truck so it's been really nice having this extra room there's not a lot of times when we have people in the back but when we do it's nice we have put this um, seat cover on here just because the dogs ride back here with us so this will protect the seat the seats are all leather so we don't want them scratched up and a bunch of dog hair and stuff on the leather I just ordered the seat cover. We actually had it in the other truck. One cool thing about this seat cover is it has this little extra thing that you can take on and off, but it attaches up here to the back of the seats. I'm sure y'all have seen this before. Abby is notorious for jumping up front when we're driving or out of the truck if they're in here. So this has been really nice preventing her from jumping up front on the leather armrest and scratching that up. But you can see there's a lot of floor room, floor space back here. The last truck, it, was, it wasn't it was as big as Nowhere this. near as that. Yeah, you had to watch how much room you slid your seat back because it would hit people's knees and stuff. Yeah, so you've got, of course, your air vents back here. You've got uh, plugs back here, which are really cool. You've got just a regular, uh, like a 110 plug. You've got USB chargers and a cigarette lighter port here. So that's really nice. Like I said, we don't have a lot of people that ever ride with us, but when we do, it is nice having this extra room. Also, the seats underneath, they do fold up. So you have storage underneath. We'll show that side. It, the storage goes all the way across the seats, which yeah. is really nice. Yeah. So we keep stuff under there. And if you don't want to store stuff in here, this plastic bin folds down into a flat surface. So 
really nice but we keep our jumper cables uh, emergency kit some wrenches some straps stuff like that under there and also right here which you can't get to right now because we got it all zipped up but it has a center console that folds down with cup holders and stuff like that so that's one really nice feature yeah really cool so let's go take a look at the front so this is the captain's seat of the big old beast beast mode 2.0 super duty i love this truck it has lots of great features that the old super duty didn't have it's got power tilting steering wheel telescoping it's all all, all power uh the pedals are adjustable for short-legged folks like myself i can pull the pedals all the way forward all the way in you get about a six inch clearance i think so depending on how long your legs are it is a push button start which this old super duty didn't have you push it once let your cluster come on let the glow plugs warm up and then you hold the brake push start cranks right up i love that i can leave the key in my pocket and not have to worry about pulling the keys out in and out all the time putting them back in my pocket i just love that that uh remote start stuff it is four wheel drive you got your four wheel drive knob right here two wheel four high four low you got your touch nav i do have my phone connected and this is a really cool feature that the old truck didn't have is it pulls up all my apps on my on my iphone so i got my phone app I could pull up people it's got google maps it's got uh, settings i can play my music um, swipe over i got sirius xm so i got the sirius xm app on my phone so we can just use that instead of paying for sirius for this truck we do have it in the work truck to get back to your ford menu it's just like that it does have its own sirius but here's your carplay so it does have its own mapping navigation but google just works way better than this does you get your climate control you can do either digitally or with all the buttons we never mess with the digital we just always use the buttons just because we got them all right here you got your cooled seating heated seating for both sides so this is passenger this is driver uh it does have dual climate so heather can have her set temperature i can have mine over here few features that we've upgraded inside the truck and i think we forgot to mention this on the back is we do get, we bought the weather tech floor mats um, we had this tinting added to the top on the front windshield it just helps with sunlight when you're driving into the light a lot better we mounted our radar detector and we also mounted this was another thing i got from built right this is a mounting bracket right here you can put the mount three ram balls on this which will allow us to you know put foam mounts up up here and i may even move the radar detector to down there you have the option to do four cup holders or two and just use this as your phone really huge inside this pulls out it's got a little change holder hold your pens like we got some toothpicks in there absolutely huge in here i got a bunch of cables right now that's for our radar detector that i need to hot wire in but enormous inside here and we keep our napkins in there and stuff keep the gluck gluck in there it's got some pen holders over here which is really cool i just noticed heather put some pens in there tons of storage though you know tons of we could fit a camera in there if we needed one of our big cameras or you know tucks away and this does lock it has a locking key hole right there you just uh pull the key out of oh yeah you need to show them how the key works actually, the key fob works yeah so to lock that you basically just pinch that and the key comes out and then find the hole locks it just like that also works for the glove box it does have a huge glove box here with the little key lock like jason said it also has a little compartment right here we have a abby's little balls that she likes but it's not a very big or deep but it's still a little compartment lots of storage in this truck it does have another 110 plug here 
cigarette lighter charger there are usb ports down here and this does shut if you have stuff in there you don't want people to see in our last 450 we had all if you look up here do you see all these auxiliary switches these are all switches that you can put accessories with like say if you wanted to put um you know those extra lighting outside any kind of ex auxiliary accessories they're all up here on the top now in our last truck they were down here and they would always get in the way well the cup holder we didn't have this compartment right yeah. here and the cup holders were further forward so every time you put a cup holder in you would knock one of those switches open yeah so that's one of the things that is different on this it of course has the little compartment you can put your sunglasses glasses up there this is also the switch to open the back window it's a sliding window yeah. the last truck we had it did have a sunroof in it we didn't get that we didn't really want it in this truck just because for one we really never used it and you know that's just more mechanical things that can go wrong so we don't miss having the sunroof at all one bit now this instrument cluster is way better than the 2016's was we got tons of settings in here auto high beams blind spot monitoring traffic alerts cross traffic alerts driver alerts uh, if you're moving outside the lane rear parking aid trailer blind spots the adaptive cruise control i have been a huge fan of you set the cruise at 70 and if traffic in front of you slows down it will slow the truck down for you i absolutely love that feature it's got some off-road settings i've never messed with those some towing some tow information you set your airstream information up in there now i'm going to show you what the camera system looks like you just put put it in reverse and it automatically comes on here's my tow hitch there's the back it gives me a review mirror but it also right here it gives you a complete 360 of what's around you and when you're in drive if you hit this button up here it turns on your front facing camera so if you pull into a parking spot forward it gives you, you 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 won't hit hit somebody's bumper or maybe a, a metal bar that says you can't park past this and you can also do a wide view of the front which is really nice there's your fifth wheel mirror so if you're in reverse whoops you can change to the fifth wheel so you can guide yourself back that's each side of the truck as you're backing up you can uh use that as your side view mirrors if you need to and then there's just your standard backing up let's see the 360 oh man 360. um i like the that one's my favorite when we're backing up but it's really cool. You can pick from all the different cameras. It does have memory seating right here. You can set up to three different sets. Whatever your, you like your seat set at, you just hold and press it down and it will set your steering, your steering wheel adjustment and your seat adjustment. Also has a one touch. This one button right here folds in your mirrors. The other Super Duty had that as well but it had it like a it was like a dial and you had to like toggle it back i really didn't like that feature the mirrors also will come in and extend for yeah, towing let me, let me bring them in yeah it's all automatic works really good so it has a really good sound system in it which is uh i've never heard of it before it's called b and o but when you're driving down the road and you got the windows up, it is a really good sound. Like it, it just sounds like you're in a concert hall. It's got your basics, you know, trailer, brake controller. You got your auto lights. Yeah, and these are for like, uh, this is for your dimming of your dash lights. This light's for your box in the back. So if it's night and you're doing stuff in the, the bed of the truck, you can turn those lights on. Uh, you got your tailgate switch. And that is for your foot pedal that allows them to come in and out. These are for side lights. There are little lights up under the mirrors right here. So when you 
come up to the truck and you unlock, they light up and light up the whole ground. You can turn those on or off right there. Then it's pretty basic on the steering wheel. You got your controls for your menu system, your cruise control. This right here, you can set how far the adaptive works. So when you're on the highway, we set it really far. When we're, you know, inner city highway, we set it somewhat close. You got your volumes. I can work Siri if my phone's plugged up to it and you can answer calls right here. So all that's pretty basic. It does have a heated steering wheel, which I don't know. I don't think I'll ever use that. We live in Texas, so don't get that cold. <laughs> like Jason said, with the controls, it has the Bluetooth so we can do the phone through the truck it has microphones and speakers so if we're on a call it just you know you can hear it in the truck you don't have to have a headset or anything like that the rearview mirror is auto adjusting so if somebody pulls up behind you with their high beams on it auto adjust for you you don't have to do that flipping of the switch i really like the black leather with the the black trim and silver. The only wood grain we got is there. And it's not like that really bright cherry wood grain. It's like a, it matches the, the black and gray in here really good. Yeah, that's the one thing we didn't really like about our King Ranch is it had a lot of that wood grain and we're just not a big fan of the wood grain look, which is not even real wood, you know, it's plastic, but yeah, yeah. we're just not a big fan of that look. So we're really glad with the, the silver and black interior in this one. We like it a lot. All right, one of the last things we're gonna show you guys is under the hood. They pack a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> that engine is a beast. You got your oil transmission dipsticks over here. We got dual batteries, which I believe are not AGM. No, we'll, we'll replace those. When we come time to replace them, we'll get AGMs on there. I dread the mechanics that have to work on these things because you got to pull so much stuff out just to get to certain things to be able to change it out. I mean, basically the whole front end has to come off anytime they have to get to something inside there. But yeah, nice head uh, light underneath the hood for if you have to check stuff at the night at nighttime. I mean, they, they put some extras in this uh, Lariat. Now we could have got the King Ranch again or the Platinum or the Limited, but I, I, that's just too much truck for us, I think. I mean, it's already, we got a 450 to haul this thing. So there you have it, guys. That's the quick and dirty tour dirty of tour the S450. Of F F Sorry it wasn't uh, our new straight truck. We're, <laughs> we're still waiting on updates on that thing ourselves. So. Yes, yes. So when we get them, you'll get them. That's right, that's right. So hopefully those of you who wanted to see it and are interested in the 450s, Hope y'all like the video. Well, you know, one of the things that makes me a Ford guy is the resale value. Just to give you a quick story, um, this truck was an $80,000 truck. We talked them down to 74, but from our other truck that we had, that we, we only put like 30,000 miles on it, we had $25,000 in equity Oh, it was 30, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was like 30. It was like $30,000 in equity. So we uh, ended up financing this truck for 45, then plus tax title and license yeah. came out to like 49. So. And we actually went <laughs> four years versus five years on our we last did. one. So we knocked a year off. It, now it did raise our truck payment up $100 per month. But that's just going to give us more equity, more equity if we decide to trade this one in, 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 three, a, in three years. In three years if we decide to go with the next model that Ford has, which they already got the new 2020. <laughs> the new 2020 has a little bit different features, but yeah. um, if we ever decide to go with the next fe uh, truck after that, we'll have tons of equity in this truck. Yeah. And the resale value of Fords has just always been the top. You know, if Dodge's resales were as good as the Fords were, we'd be driving a Dodge. Believe me, I am not loyal to Ford, Dodge, Chevy. It's whoever resells and uh, makes me the, saves me the most money. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 absolutely. All right. Well, thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. And until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting.